Hello again. Uh, we're going to take you through some of the gear that we use, um, mainly live. This is my weapon of choice. It's a Gibson Custom Les Paul, um, my absolute favorite guitar. It's the most beautiful thing in the world, I think. Nick is using something different. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using a Gibson RD, which is a, a model they brought out again from the 70s. Like, like a reissue? Yeah, yeah, reissue, yeah. Um, some funky, funky stuff from the, from the 70s. Yeah. But it, it works in metal yeah. too, definitely. We use, uh, both of us use uh, EMG pickups, 81 and 85, uh, which is, I guess, pretty traditional when it comes to playing metal. Um, they sound good, always. Um, something that you can always lean on if you play in a festival, for instance, yeah. and there's not enough power, uh, might be bad conditions, everything just works out fine with EMG, so very happy with that. Always reliable yeah. pickups. Totally, always totally. works. Great guys to work with too. Um, this is actually one of my first, the first one I got. So this is very special. I even got it signed by Billy Gibbons. <laughs> Happy about that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's cool. say it. Yeah. Um, so this one was used both for is used live, but it also was used very much for the recording. We had this one, and also a friend of us from Berlin, uh, a guy named Alex. He uh, built his own baritone Telecaster, which is pretty much the same as this one, but it's different shaped body, obviously. A bit longer neck, but it's the same yellow bindings, the same black, beautiful wood. So it's, it was a fantastic guitar to use. Um, unfortunately, it's really hard to play on a baritone guitar, uh, unless you're Rob Flynn, obviously. Um, so I rarely use it live. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Um, and for amps, uh, I play Marshalls. It's uh, the one I use nowadays. It's uh, it's a prototype, which is a fantastic one. Unfortunately, it's not going to be used in, uh, there's never going to be a line amp, um, which is very unfortunate, but it sounds great. It's a classic uh, sounding Marshall. And it's both used in the studio and it's used live as well. And I use a Fender EVH and um, I use it for maximum power and muscular sounding. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it works great out sound. really fine. Yeah, great sound. And that sound together as a Marshall and the yeah, they works. Yeah, kind of complete each other. Yeah, yeah. I think it's really, definitely. Really Explosive cool. yeah. sound. We have, um, well, I have a few boxes that I use as well. I have a delay pedal that um, MXR does, um, carbon copy. It's really good, really simple. I'm not a technical geek or genius in any way, so I, I like it very plain and simple. And we actually used more technical stuff in the studio, but for live use, it's, it's perfect for us. And I use my beloved Q95 wah as well. All the time, people say, but <laughs> I enjoy it. When it comes to the clean sound, um, for the live environment, it's usually, um, I usually use a JVM, Marshall. Um, but in the studio, we tried out the Kemper amp. Yeah, it worked. Um, yeah. It's really cool. I haven't really figured everything out yet, but um, I have friends that know it and use it all the time, and they say it's a fantastic amp. It worked really well in the studio. Um, I think there's a lot of interesting stuff to be to be found in that little amp. Um, I think we even used it for parts of the bass. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, definitely. Yeah. So it's very versatile. I like it very much. And live as well, we um, we kind of went away from the Marshall wall or, or uh, you know the speaker walls, um, and we actually used something called Box of Doom, which is an ISO cab, but it's a little bit smarter than the early Randall ones because um, it's. It's not angled, but it's, what do you say, it's not vertical, it's horizontal or whatever, how you say it. It's not the speaker pointing upwards, it's pointing the same way as a, a regular speaker. Uh, and um, it's a little bit bigger box, which gives it a little bit more air to push, which gives it a more natural sound. And it's also very quiet. So for live, it's perfect, it's simply for our um, front of house guy, so he doesn't get unnecessary guitar sound that he doesn't like.